Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is for you. It's an honour and a privilege to be asked to share the devotion with you today. Um, my name is Linda Taverner. I live with my husband in North Wales in the Elwy Valley, which is about five miles outside of Abergelly on the North Wales coast. Uh, we're part of the Chester campus and have been since um, nearly the beginning. The verse I want to share with you today comes from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. When I began to unpack this verse, there was so much that I could say about it. And I'm going to talk about anxiety. Anxiety is different for everybody, but one thing is for sure, we all feel anxious from time to time, uh, some of us more than others. And this verse tells us to cast our anxiety on him because he cares for us. Anxiety is a feeling or a belief that something bad is going to happen. It's like carrying a rucksack full of heavy stones around everywhere we go. It exhausts us, it's debilitating, it restricts us. So all the more reason to do something about it. And this verse says, again, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. So casting is what fishermen do. I don't know a lot about fishing. It's not really my thing, but I do know that the idea is to cast your fishing line as far as you possibly can into the deepest part of the lake or river and the float marks the spot where the hook and the, the bait lie just below the surface. In due course we reel it back in again and then we start all over again. I suppose if we catch a fish and eat it for our tea, there's a bit of purpose in it for us. <laughs> but isn't this just the thing we do with our anxieties? We take them to God and then we reel them back in and take them on board again. But what we should really be doing is imagine that our anxiety is a heavy stone and we throw it as far as we possibly can into the deepest part of the lake and watch it sink, never to be seen again. It's a matter of faith, really. We need to believe that God is able and that God is willing to take our anxiety away and give us peace. We can have confidence in this because he cares for us. The reverse is also true. We exercise unbelief if we don't give him our every worry and our every concern and trust him to take them away and give us peace. The message translation puts it this way, because he takes great care with you. I recently sold some Royal Albert um, bone china cups and saucers to a lady and she wrapped each item individually and carefully and packed them into a box so that they wouldn't get damaged. How much more will God care for us? The Bible tells us that God cares for the sparrows and the lilies of the field. He knows the hairs on our heads. Some of us have got more than others. Uh, even though when we brush our hair, hair comes out all the time. It's just beyond our understanding. So God cares for us. God takes great care with us. So when I'm thirsty, I take a drink. When I'm hungry, I go and get something to eat. Each day we'll be faced with different anxieties and we'll need to remember to take them to God. It should become a habit every time something troubles us. Take it straight to God before it has chance to weigh us down and debilitate us and exhaust us and stop us functioning. Remember, God loves you and God cares for you. I want to pray for you today um, that God will um, give you peace. So Father, I just thank you right now for everyone who's listening to this today. 
that you will be very present in their every anxiety, their every trouble, their every care. You will prompt them continually to take these troubles, these anxieties to you and you will give them peace, Lord God, because you love us. I want to thank you for your great love and your great care for each one of us. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. So have a great day and see you in church on Sunday.